Greetings everyone and welcome back. We are playing Distant Worlds Universe with the AI Improvement Mod and the Shakhtari Storylines Enabled. Alright, so we're heading down to see what that beacon is and with any luck it'll be another ship but I'm not going to count on that. Uh, we did uh, attack the pirates. Um, I wasn't like, looking to do that right away but uh, we did it anyway. So we now have our uh, two fuel sources in our home system uh, available to us. So I have one construction ship coming over here to get that done. And the other construction ship is coming over to this fuel source to get that done. And we do have a small fleet in here. It's a small but powerful fleet. These are ships we've acquired over the last couple episodes. So we'll be using those to protect ourselves for the moment. Uh, we will try to get down to where the pirates are and take out at least their uh, resupply ship right away. That resupply ship is a major stumbling block. It's, uh, it's pretty powerful. It's probably the most powerful ship they have. Uh, if we look at their strength, I think it had a 100 strength uh, firepower. Ooh, they've been building, they've been building. That was 10 ships the last time I looked. Uh, they've doubled their firepower since the last time we looked. This is going to be a bit of a challenge, I think. I need to protect my homeworld and get that fleet out here to do this. That is going to be a challenge. Okay, so I'm really hoping for more ships out of that, but I'm not going to count on it. I'm guessing it's going to be, it might be an independent. Uh, we might be able to actually expand a bit if that's an independent. We'll have to see what that uh, turns out to be. Uh, yeah, so uh, I think we're in for some little, uh, of a bit of early game action. Uh, we are 65% towards getting our warp fields. So that's going to help out uh, in our defenses in the home world. Um, I don't, I'm still not sure if I'm going to be actually building any ships right away. Um, we'll have to see on that. And we're growing at 8% and uh, yeah, we're doing all right. We're, our GDP is over 100k now, so uh, we can make a bit of money if we tax. All right, so let's uh, just see what this is. Oh, we've got to go back to 4x here, I think, just to speed things up. I slowed it down just to go th get through those attacks. All right, um, I've kind of stopped my exploration here, unfortunately. Um, I'm just thinking I should. Hmm. Oh, calling the happiness is up. Perfect. Yep, that brought us up from 30 to 31. Okay, well, we'll see what this is, and then I'll make some decision on what I'm going to do as far as keeping the exploration going and what attacks we're going to do. Oh, it's a pirate. It's another pirate. Oh. Okay, well, I'm not going to bother taking them on. Wow, we got another pirate fairly close to us. That's probably not good news. Okay, let's get you back to Homeworld. And should I get him to join that fleet now? Hmm. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. Uh, I think we got targeted, but we're out of there now, so I don't think that's going to be an issue. All right, so uh, I sent these guys back for refuel. And we got a construction ship that requires refueling. I hope that's not one of the... Yeah, it's this guy here. Uh, I think he should be okay to build that, and then he'll be able to refuel once that's done. So I'm not going to be too concerned about that. All right, so where's our fleet right now? Right at Homeworld. I gave it a refuel order last episode, so they're all refueled and ready to go. I'm just going to leave them sitting in here for the moment till that cruiser joins the fleet. Um, I get the feeling the pirates are going to come in here uh, fairly shortly and start uh, causing some trouble. But on the plus side, I think we got enough firepower to hold them off. I hope I don't lose any of these great ships doing that, though. That would be disappointing to lose my advantage right away. Oh, I got to get this continued. Um, let's just have a look at these ships. Maybe there's one here I can actually do without. Uh, 35, okay, hang on. Okay, you don't have much firepower, so I'm going to actually take you out of that fleet, and maybe we'll use you to keep going as far as our exploration goes. Yeah, so I think I'll do that. Um, I'm kind of curious on who's over here, so let's move over there. Okay, so we'll use him to do that. And this 
ship here should join our first fleet. Okay, and we'll have a look at our firepower now. 493. Okay. And yeah, I'll have to get him uh, fueled up here first. Uh, I'll just hit the refuel button on that right now. And we got a new ship captain. I'm guessing Hostile Intruder is one of our captured ships. Yep. Okay, so it looks like we're fueled up. Um, I know the minute I take this fleet out of here, they're going to be in here. I know it. I, it's just the way things work. Uh, I get the feeling I've burned all my good luck already for this game. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to move just to the system. I'm not going to go right to the spaceport. I want to draw that... Uh, resupply ship out on its own to take it down. So we'll do that. Okay, that's a numbered system, so we'll move on. Okay, so we'll let him sit there for a bit and we'll see what this is. And we are now under attack. Okay, so let's, there we go. Uh, what are we here? Yeah, they got a few more ships in here now. So let's just select our fleet. And there's that resupply ship. Get that now. Oh, let's just slow this down a bit. There we go. Okay, good. Going down fast. Excellent. And we got hyper deny, so he's not going to get away. Awesome. All right. So we'll get rid of this lead ship. Hopefully they got a, a character or a ship captain or something on it. Not taking any damage yet. <clears throat> Excellent. Not bad. Not bad at all. Oh, that got away. Not a problem. <clears throat> well, we'll target that ship. Uh, looks like they're building just a couple more. Okay, let's uh, zoom out and I'll just get this, uh, this guy here uh, off to the next system. <clears throat> okay. Ooh, we got a whole bunch of... Uh, let's just have a quick look at this. Character promotions. Um, ah, new skill countermeasures. So once we get countermeasures on our ships, he's going to help out a lot. Um, strong space attacker. That gives a, a bit of a bonus to the attack strength of the ship he's on. Uh, more countermeasures. That's a different character. Perfect. And good tactician. So uh, yeah, perfect. Excellent. And we did get a character, a new ship captain. Okay. So that's going very well. All right, so let's uh, get back in here and we'll see what kind of damage we can do. I wonder if I should just target this spaceport. It's still a small spaceport. It's got 2,000 shields. Now we'll bring them over and we'll see how this goes. And here we go. Okay, let's just pause for a sec. I'm going to get you. Let's just have a look at this ship. 400 shields, 40 firepower. Let's just target you with that one. And then we'll, oh, you're targeting that. All right. Awesome. Excellent. Okay, we now have transport systems, which means we can now build our resort bases. So we'll get to that in a bit. I just want to get this done. Target that spaceport. How much firepower is this thing at? 200. Not enough. 
Okay, that frigate is done. It's completed its mission. So I guess that's going to be okay for the moment. So we'll just let that go while we come out and queue up another mission for you. There's nothing in there, so we'll move on. Okay, and... Uh, what else do we have going on here? I forget now. Uh, we did get uh, recreation. I thought there was uh, something else that went on here. Oh, it was, oh, I thought it was the frigate in here, but it's that one that we got the message on. Okay, so we'll come back in and we'll watch this spaceport fall. Shields are just about down. Perfect. Hey, you're getting a little too close for comfort. What's your uh, standoff? Shatter force lasers. I guess we're fine for now. I don't see too much problems here. Okay, so we haven't taken any damage yet. These ships are awesome. Get him before he warps out. Everybody. Oh, he's standing off, I see. Okay. No problem, we got him. And we'll finish that one off. And we've completed our research in the uh, first tier of uh, concussion missiles. So I'm just going to zip right out here and get the next tier on that. All right. Mission accomplished. Now, I didn't get their uh, resupply sh or their construction ship, unfortunately. Um, so I guess maybe we'll just mop this stuff up. All right. Excellent. So happy with this game so far. But I, I get, like I said, I get the feeling I've burnt all my good luck in this game. So we're probably going to see some bad stuff happening from this point on. Uh, so now what we want to do is design a resort base. Uh, I, my construction ships are busy right now anyway, so we're not going to build one right away, but generally what I do is I grab uh, whatever research uh, base that I've started on and just copy as new. And we're just going to call this, uh, I guess a Mark II. And we're just going to call it a Disney base. I always call them Disney bases just because I can't come up with a better name. Uh, if you guys got a a name for any designs or ships, like I said, uh, let me know in the comments and I have no problem uh, renaming some stuff for you. So I'm going to rip all the labs off first thing. I don't want the labs on here. Uh, it's, it's just quicker to uh, copy as new for a new design. And we're going to change it to a resort base. And I'm going to change the graphic to something a little funky, just outside of our own ship set. There we go. So we'll just go with that. That's fine. And we'll need a commerce center, so we'll just satisfy these uh, these warnings. So a commerce center, a recreation center, and passenger storage. And I usually put about 10 of these on to start. And it's actually a significant amount of storage. Um, 1200K times 10, so I mean that's a ton of storage. And the passengers get dropped off in 2K chunks. Or no, 20K chunks. We get 2K in revenue for every time they get dropped off. So 20,000 uh, tourists get dropped off with every trip with the passenger ships. So that, that's going to take a while to fill that up. Okay, so uh, I think we're good here. We'll save that. And we now have a resort base. Uh, like I said, I won't be building that right away till one of those uh, other construction ships finish what they're doing. Oh, we need a passenger ship too. And a colony ship? What? Hang on, hang on, hang on, pause. We don't have that tech yet. What? Okay, I gotta go to the logs. When did we get that? Uh, standard storage. Another tech. Okay, I'm confused on that. When did we pick that up? Abandoned ship encountered. Maybe, oh, 
that uh, ship that we repaired, we found the technology that gave us understanding of colonization. Good Lord. This is the most fantastic start I have ever had. And the best part is I'm recording it. <laughs> Usually when I get starts like this, I'm not recording and it just uh, dies off in history. But wow, we got a permanent record that this is going on. This is awesome. I now have colonization. Oh my God. Uh, whether I'm going to colonize anything right away, I don't know. It's, a, it's an added expense to start new colonies. Um, I suppose I should get on it, but uh, holy cow. Man. Oh, <laughs> so I guess we got to design. Okay, let's design a uh, passenger ship first. Uh, once again, we will copy as new uh, just to make this uh, an easy process. You can actually just hang on. Uh, for anybody new, you can actually start adding new. And then you have to build the ship from the ground up, which takes a bit of time, and uh, you got to satisfy the uh, all the warnings and all that. I find it just as easy to come in and copy as new. So I usually, uh, for the passenger ship, I usually grab the medium freighter, and I'll copy as new, and I'm just going to call this a luxury liner. Man, <laughs> I'm just blown away with this game. Uh, passenger ship. Okay, that's fine, and we need storage for passengers. So there's our passenger component, and we'll take the cargo off. So 10 cargo off, and I generally put six passengers on, passenger compartments on, and that's all we're gonna do for now. There we go. Okay, uh, well, I guess maybe while we're in here, uh, I'll do it later. Maybe I'll wait till we get warp cores, and then I'll do the, uh, the uh, calling ship design. It's just I'm gonna be warned about it every time I try to close the screen, but that's no big deal. Yeah, we'll wait till we get warp cores and then we'll design the colony ship. I'm not looking to do anything with that right away anyways. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm just blown away here. Oh. Okay, uh, resort locations. I want to get on these fairly quick. Oh, I got three in here. Excellent. Uh, which one gives us the good bonus? 27% from here. Um, 84% towards warp cores. Uh, the thing is, I can probably retro wait for warp cores, retrofit, and be down here quicker to build that. Um, so I think what I might do is maybe just do a bit more mining for now. Um, I'm not going to do that one. The private sector will probably pick that one up, but it's kind of a low qual um, low percentages. What do we got? 60, 80, 98. Well, it's not that bad. Uh, gives us lead and, uh, and iridium and gold, which I think we probably still need. Yep, so I think we will mine that. So I'm going to do that right now. It's nice and close by, and then by the time we get warp cores, we'll start looking at building some resort bases. So I'm just going to build a mining station right there. Okay, so that's all set up. Um... I kind of derailed my whole thought process with that colony ship tech. Oh, man, I cannot believe the uh, luck I'm having here. I'm going to suffer for this later. I know it. <laughs> I usually don't get this lucky without suffering for it. So, Okay, so we'll finish taking out their mining stations in here, and we'll speed the game up again one, once again. Just to get things going a bit quicker. Okay. All right, so that station's down. And how's the firepower on these pirates looking now? Yeah, it's dropped a bit. Uh, they're not going to be building any more ships, that's for sure, unless they got another uh, base out there somewhere. So we'll keep an eye on this. If that ship count goes up, then we know they have another base. But I think it's pretty early for that to be happening. But i got to find that construction ship, unfortunately. I wonder where it would be. It was up here last time we saw it. So I'm going to have to actively hunt that down. Uh, I wonder if I should maybe get him to maybe look for it. I forget what system it was, but we'll move over here. Okay, and one more. I wonder if I should just damage one. 
That might be a plan. Just damage a station, and then they'll, they'll probably bring their, re, or their construction ship back to repair it. Um, that might be a fuel source. That probably isn't a fuel source uh, where the spaceport is probably their fuel source. But that might be an idea. Just damage it a bit, and then they might bring that construction ship back in to fix it. It's just how do I monitor that without actually taking that right out? <clears throat> Hmm. Yes, how do I do that? Well, let's come over and damage it first. So let's just bring them over. Take the shields down. Yeah, I get the feeling I'm just going to end up destroying it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I get the feeling they'll destroy it before they initiate their jump drives. So that plan's probably not going to work. Nope. Oh, there we go. Okay, so with any luck, they will bring a construction ship in to repair that. But how do I monitor that without my ships? Uh, maybe if I change my stance. Uh, engage when attacked. Engage your targets. Engage when attacked. Um, let's just maybe proceed with the game and see what that does. I think they're just going to sit there for the moment. I leave my homeworld exposed. I need these guys back at homeworld, actually. Um, hmm. Nope, it's not in there. Try to hunt that down. Hmm. Oh, which system was that? It's probably moved on at this point anyways. <clears throat> oh, ah, that fleet just moved, I think. Nope. Okay, so you're still sitting there. Uh, doesn't look like you're doing anything. Good. So we'll just keep them in there for the moment. I could just leave one ship in there. No, I'm not going to find it, I don't think. I think it's probably moved on at this point. Uh, that construction ship could very well go and uh, construct another base somewhere. Um, okay, well, I guess I'll just continue on with exploring. And the first fleet, hmm, I really need this in Homeworld for protection. I wonder if I should just get rid of it and get out of here. Oh, maybe I'll give it a couple more minutes. Uh, I don't think it'll take us too long to get back here if there is a problem. We might lose a station or something, but uh, we'll take that chance, I guess. And nope. And we got a construction ship done. Okay, so we finished that. Um... Well, we're 94% towards warp drive, so I'm not going to take this construction ship out in another mission. I'm going to actually get it retrofitted first. And then uh, we'll get stuff going a bit quicker that way. And what are you doing? I think I got you just uh, refueling, I guess. No mission? Good. Okay. Pause. Oh, there it is. There it is. Awesome. Oh, I love it when a plan comes together. So let's change our stance back to nearby targets. System targets is fine. Target that construction ship. Oh, I love it when a plan comes together. I uh, can't quite target that, but... Uh, okay, we'll just target something and get over here. Okay, he is in the warp, uh, warp denial field. Um... Target that. Come on. Oh, there we go. Please don't lose him. Get him, get him, get him. Excellent. Oh, I got away. Oh, he's over here. All right, get him. Construction ship. I'm trying to target the construction ship because as we saw, there was a brief moment where the uh, 
the hyper deny dropped because we destroyed the previous target and before it actually retargeted the construction ship it gave it enough time to get away so i don't want that to happen again i'm just trying to get this yeah i can't quite get it uh the mining station's on top of the uh construction ship unfortunately all right well we'll get a little closer anyway ah just about did it again There we go. Get him, get him, get him. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. That should slow them right down. Okay, I got all the targets I was looking for there. I got their uh, spaceport, I got their resupply ship, and I got their hopefully only construction ship. Uh, the only thing that could happen with them now is they might have capture ability and be able to capture an empire's construction ship and use it for themselves and then rebuild from that. But that uh, is definitely put them to a significant disadvantage. Uh, they still got 17 ships floating around out there. And I'm hoping none of those, well, none of those, none of those would be construction ships. But uh, I'm hoping that was their only construction ship because if it is, we've crippled them. Uh, there's a small chance that they would be able to recover from it, but we'll see. So I'm just going to move you back to Earth. All right. Oh, man. That was that was awesome. I love it when a plan comes together. All right. Excellent. So we'll move here. All right. Oh. This has been an awesome start. Oh, my God. I know I keep going on about that, but I'm actually in a quite a state of disbelief right now. <laughs> yep. Okay, so I'll get that fleet to refuel. And did that fleet admiral ever end up on that fleet? Yep. Perfect. How'd we end up? Ship energy savings. We got targeting bonus. We got a ship maneuvering bonus. And we got weapons damage increased by 10%. And our ship captains... Oh, we got a demoralizing. Um, okay, it looks like he might be. What ship are you on? Uh, okay, I'm going to have to watch. I'm going to have to look for that. Um, make sure that the uh, fleet admiral isn't on the same ship as the uh, as this uh, particular uh, ship captain because he's demoralizing and will slowly eat away at the, uh, the skills of the other uh, characters at the same location. Okay, and this ship captain is commanding the Silverhawk. Hyper jump speed plus 26%. I generally don't like when that happens because that means this ship will be quicker than the rest of them, but uh, I guess we'll just deal with that. Countermeasures, once we get that, he'll be really good at that. Ship maneuvering and shield recharge rate, which, which uh, will be definitely handy. Excellent. Oh, we got another fleet admiral too. Okay. Um, I guess I'll have to get another fleet before I can resell. I guess I could assign them to the same fleet, but I don't like to put all my eggs in one basket. But um, I'll do it. Uh, we'll get we'll get some experience on them, I guess. Okay, we don't know anybody yet, so we can't really assign our ambassador. And I don't know whether I can still buy any information off these guys. Not that I really want to, but uh, oh, they do know another empire. So maybe we'll do that. That's going to give them a bit of money, but hopefully they can't really do much with it because they have no construction ship. Uh, I don't think they can build ships. I think I, I'm hoping that we took out their only spaceport. All right. Ah, here's, uh, I guess I kind of wasted money on that because that's what these guys are. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have done that. And I'm guessing, oh, who is it that keeps criticizing me on that? It's either Quee Quee 5609 or um, VMX criticizes me every time I do that. So I'm expecting that in the comments. So fire away, guys. Okay, so uh, ship maintenance minus 35% is their only trait, which means they should be fairly easy to spy on. And I wonder if I should maybe pick up one of these too. Uh, these guys are over here a little ways. I wonder if they know anybody. And I'm thinking this will be the only time I do this in the whole game. I just want to get some spying going on early in the game so I can start getting some, uh, hopefully, some research bonuses here. Okay, and the Entons. 
they have better spies by 10%, which is unfortunate. We have better spies by 15%, so we're a little bit better. So I might risk that at some point, but we'll see. So let's go put our intelligence agents to work. Uh, acquiring territory maps is usually pretty safe. I generally always manage to get this. The odd time I'll lose the uh, intelligence agent doing it, but see what his odds are here. 89%, so we'll go with that. And you. Nope, oh, the other guys. The Entens. Let's see what the odds are here. Uh, hmm. That's a little bit risky. I really don't want to lose my counter espionage guy. We, we do have a better chance of regenerating more, so if we do lose them, we won't be too long before we get another one. I hope. Oh, I don't know whether it's worth it. They're, they're a fair ways away. Is it worth... Uh, maybe I'll just keep him on counter... Uh, oops, on counterintelligence for now. Um, I've become really gun-shy of burning up my uh, intelligence agent on risky missions. So I think we might just try the one, and we'll see what his traits end up being. All right, um, let's see, we're at 31 minutes, so I guess we'll maybe bring this episode to a close, and next episode we'll break into proper warp drives, and we'll be able to start exploring for resources with our exploration ships. Uh, speaking of which, I'm going to grab our exploration ship and bring him to Homeworld, get him ready for retrofit right away. Okay, and I see our construction ship sitting there waiting for retrofit. All right. Ah, oh, they got another one. Oh, 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 we're not, we're not hanging this episode up yet. Okay, forget refueling, get that. How did they get two of those? That might be the difficulty level I'm playing at. They might start with two. Go get them, boys. Thank you. And there's our hyperdrives. So I'm just going to close that and pause for a sec while I go queue up some more research. Don't want to waste too much time. Uh, shields, I think, is going to be my next target. Just get some shields on our stuff. Pretty important at this point, I think. And we'll do redesigns in the next episode to get warp drives and all that kind of stuff. So uh, let's just finish taking this out and we'll wrap up the episode with that. Excellent. That's mine, I think. Pretty sure. Yep. All right. Wow, what an episode. <laughs> oh. All right. So uh, we're doing pretty good. Let's have another look at their strength. Blood intruders. So they still got those 17 ships. I'm expecting they're going to probably come into our home world at some point and cause trouble. So we need to keep that fleet at home world. Um, yeah. Excellent. All right, now that we know a couple of empires, let's just maybe pop in here for a sec. And I'm exactly where I figured I'd be dead last. Wow, look at these guys as far as economy. Oh, wow, compared to us. We got our galactic total is 125,000. Theirs is 1.5 million in economy. Uh, population, they have 23 million. They've probably maxed out already on their home world where we haven't, we're, we're not even halfway there yet. And these guys, eh, they're about twice our revenue and they're pretty much the same population level as we are. Okay, so uh, I don't think there's much reason to go through here because I'm sure we're gonna be dead last and everything. I'll probably tied for territory, that's uh, a given. Okay. So last place in economy, which is where I figured we'd be. Strategic value, we're last place. Oh, second place in strength. And I haven't actually officially built our own ships yet. Perfect. And we only know our own homeworld there, so. All right, very, very good. I am so happy, so, so happy. All right, uh, this will be the last episode I'll record for today. Um, so next episode, I'll react to some more comments. Um, and if you look at the titling of my episodes, you'll see in square brackets, I have like one of four or one of two or whatever. And if you see like a two of two or a four of four, then you know that's the last episode of the, the particular session I sat down to record. 
So generally one of two or one of four, or whatever you see, if it's the if it's the part one, then you know that's where I'll be reacting to comments. So you know, just keep an eye on that if you're looking for that kind of stuff. All right, perfect. All right, so uh, if you're still with me, thanks for joining me, and we'll catch you next time. Okay, everyone, uh, just one little final note before I uh, end this episode. When I uh, spot check the uh, recording, I noticed that we got a scientist with that uh, when we got hyperdrives. I should have read that uh, that pop-up that came up, and I was so excited about that construction ship, I just kept going. But yeah, we did get an, a scientist, so we'll just have a quick look at him. He's waiting at Earth. And he's got energy research bonus, perfect, and weapons research bonus, perfect. He's creative, but he's a foreign spy, unfortunately. So that significantly increases the chance of uh, other empires stealing tech from us. So that kind of sucks, but uh, we're definitely going to bonus out on that. So I'm just going to put him on the Terrania Research Center. And I'll transfer him there. I just thought I'd uh, just uh, put a quick addendum on the uh, video just because I know a lot of people would probably respond in the comments saying, you got a scientist, you didn't see that. But yes, I did notice that when I was spot checking the the video when I uh, finished up. So I thought I'd just uh, put another minute on the uh, on the episode and, uh, and let you know that I did catch that. Anyway, so we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.